Anyways, so now we're gonna be painting the cloak. I choose to go with red as a main color and land the we're gonna be laying the uh, purple in shadows. And after that I think we're gonna try to do some stippling, uh, some glazing. And uh, and I think we're gonna finish it with uh, uh, weathering pencils. So I'm going to paint in most of the details. I'm just trying to tuck the paint into recesses. To avoid getting the brush onto the painted part of the model. And you can see what's happening with the uh, tree shading. So where we have the brightest parts of our piece, it's kind of getting that tint of purple because of the um, how transparent the paint is and. Uh, Lays over white layer, and creating that purple tone. Because if we add white to red, we're not gonna get orange obviously. We're gonna get purple. So it's also very important to keep in mind when you're mixing your paints. So look at that, right? Like that part was that part was brighter, but colored with uh, let's fix that little puddle. Yeah, so we can see that like we, we, we layer it the same the same color, but we can see like when it dries, like you're gonna see better. How the color is really interacting with the uh, under layer of appreciating. So that's why, let's say, when you're doing appreciating, you might want to go with uh, you might want to consider that. Like that's why when we do appreciate on this model. We also did it with the airbrush and like highlighted with uh, yellows and laid darker tones with um, greens and browns. Because like if we don't do that, we're gonna have the full variety of tones when we're painting the model by the brush. So we're going to be mainly concentrating on the, on the other side of the clock, 
So here I think I'm just gonna put the base layer and the uh, some weathering. See here that the paint is pretty watery, so it goes to recesses, but it's okay. So in the same way we're gonna be laying this text chain in random spots and also we're gonna do the streaks on the where we have wrinkles. So for these tricks, we're going to go with a mix of yellow and orange with one by one ratio. So in the same manner, I'm going to highlight it with a little, now we're going to go with the yellow, with the pure yellow. So in the same manner we're going to cover the, all the other wrinkles. I'm just going to take a little bit of time so I can show the mid result a little later. So what I did here, so I placed some more streaks and did a layer of glazing on this part. Now we're going to be glazing the part closer to the bolt gun. So I just want to put Okay, so now we see that our texture uh, got tinted a lot. So what are we gonna do? Let's let's layer the um, purple, which is the darkest part of our clock. So you see how our tone pop up suddenly, right? Like from from red to purple right away. So what are we gonna do now? Um, once again, I'm gonna pause the camera and gonna finish uh, these parts the same way. 
I'm going to show you the result just layering the very, very thin layer of purple. So <coughs> now I'm going to add the orange to the brighter parts of our clock. Let's add a little bit more streaks. So now you probably notice that one of our streaks got a little too thick. So what we're we gonna do? Because we still to, to add the texture, you know, the depth, not the texture. We're gonna do the purple, very thin line over it. So now, some way, I'm going to be applying these streaks of purple to our texture, creating kind of like the shadows, kind of a deeper, like creating the depths for, for the scratches. It's also random, I think. some painters who like to use this technique like streaking and carve the whole model in the streak so every every element of the model they do in the same way here we go so what are we gonna do now I think at this step we're gonna add a couple more scratches on a more like, flatter area so like, I'm pretty happy with what we have here mm -hmm. I think we're gonna also add some shadow into this area and then highlighting parts a little more with whiter color and pretty much it for the cloak so what I start doing here it in the texture down that if I'm gonna add some white, actually this white, pale gray uh, into red, obviously we're gonna get the color closer to like uh, raspberry color, uh, very much like pinkish reddish, and if the paint is uh, diluted good, you can start getting this interesting texture so when you do this tapping motion kind of dissolves into the puddle so and you see like what's happening here like these puddles they're not that much noticeable 
So that's a very interesting thing to try. And we're gonna go for it. So here you can see I added some scratches. So and now after we're done with these we can start going a little bit brighter on our texture. So adding a little bit more white to get more like pinkish color and doing the same over the same area over the same area with our dots we're adding more and you see that like when I'm, when, I, when I'm placing this dot paint is so much diluted that it kind of like start disappearing pretty fast but that's what we want because here we're creating sort of random texture but it's controllable So our goal here is to create a little bit more texture. So you can see that at this stage we see a lot of um, uh, non-pleasing spots, but let's try to glaze it and let's see what we can get. So let's go with red glaze. So we're going to dilute our red, pa red paint a lot, so it's very, very watery. So, and now start layering it over let's do it with the streaks so after that we're gonna glaze it a bit more with orange so and why we're using multiple glazing to build this layer and more deeper deeper texture. So you see when we add red glaze, white stand out a lot. That's what's happening when you it in a very thin layer which print the contrast okay so now we're going with orange and with orange 
We're just gonna go to the parts of our model, not everything. And here we can go with the variety of colors with orange and purple as well. So while orange is still wet, we're applying our purple color so we can dab it. So you see this type of work adds a sort of sickness into our code. So in this stage I'm pretty happy what do we got here?